Hey y'all, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change the fonts and the colors of your Cadence theme. From here, we're going to, this is the WordPress dashboard, we're going to go to Appearance and then click on Customize. And let's start with colors first. So here it says colors and fonts, so we're going to click there and we're going to click on colors. So um, Cadence gives you um, already preset colors that you can choose from. Um, when I create my themes, I will create three preset colors for you. You can choose those or you can change the colors to your own colors if you like. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Stronger Together Cadence theme. And then it's all set in this purple color you can see here. So if I click on palette two, it changes to this nude pink color that you see here. And then again, if I click on palette three, it changes to a blue color. So these are the choices you have for the Stronger Together Cadence theme. But let's say um, you wanted to change um, this purple. Um, let's say you didn't want the purple pink or the, um, the blue for the Cadence theme, right? So let's say you wanted to change this purple to a different color. And also one other quick thing, um, if you hover your mouse over each one of these dots, it's going to give you a brief description of what that color is used for. So these are just used as accent colors. And then these three black ones that you see here, these are going to be your font, um, your text colors. And then we have some more um, accent colors. This one is a subtle text color, um, a background color, a lighter background color, and just a wider off-white that you want to use. And so let's say I didn't want to use this purple. I wanted to use maybe a green color. So I'm going to go over here until I'm looking at this bar up here at the top until I see a green that I like. But I think I like that green. So I'm going to leave it there. So anywhere that that purple color was being used is now going to be changed to that green color. Um, you can also, besides clicking on the colors in this um, section here, if you know the color code that you're using, you can place that color code here. Now, in the tutorials for Studio Mommy, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of your themes tutorial, it's going to give you a list of the color codes that was used um, for the purple one, for example. So that way, you always have those color codes if you needed to use them or to change them back. But that is how you would change the colors and um, on your site. So then let's go over here to, I'm going to change that color back really quick. So I'm going to color copy this color code and paste it. Okay, so then let's go over to fonts. So here where it says typography, you're going to click there. The base font is going to be your body font. So that's going to be the font that is here on your site that you see. Now, besides changing the font here, you can also change the font within a page. And I'll show you, and the colors as well, within a page. When you're editing a page, you're creating a new page, whether that's your about page, your contact page, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Um, but let's say overall, for the entire site, we want to change that body font right here from this one to a different one. So um, with Cadence, they give you uh, many of the um, Google fonts that um, they offer a lot of Google fonts that you can use on your site so you can scroll through and find the one you want when you want you can also go to fonts.google.com and you can search for fonts there because you can actually see how um, they look before you choose them for your site here so let's say I want to change this one um, what is there's another one i think it's called uh garamond or oh cormorant cormorant i'm not sure how to say that but i like these two fonts so i'm just going to change it to that and you can see how that font changed right here um to the new font that we chose let me see is there another one just to give you an idea let's do licorice Okay, so that one was more of like a script font. I'm not sure if I like that one too much. <laughs> but um, so yeah, you can go through here and you can search and you can click. I think that's another script. You can go through here and you can click and you can find a font that you like. Oh, I kind of like that one. Um, 
And so that's for the base font. That's going to be the body font. That's also going to be the, the main font that you're going to find in your blog posts as well. So that's how you change it there. And then here is where you can change the size of your font. And if you want that font to be um, bold or just regular font. And then you also have your heading fonts. So your heading fonts are going to be the titles of your blog post, your pages. Um, and these are going to be heading fonts that you can choose when you're creating a poster page. You can add heading fonts within um, the middle of your post or your page. So for this one, the heading font, we're using Libre, uh, Libre Baskerville. And, um, but again, you can click on there and you can choose a different font if you like. Um, your H1 fonts, H2 fonts. So the H1 font is always going to be the largest size and it's going to get smaller as you go down to the bottom. And then you can change the sizes here on the right side if you like. So these are set for this theme. They're set at 700, which is a bolder font. Um, if you want a heading font, but you don't want it bold, you just want it the crisp and clean look, you can just choose the regular um, size font if you like that. And let's see what else. So that would cover um, how to change it for the entire site. But let's go out of here because I told you you could do it within a post or a page or not with within a page I create for your site, correct? So anything that you change here in the customizer section is going to change it for the entire site. But let's say you want to leave all the fonts and the colors alone for the entire site, but you may want to change the color of a button or change just a font for a title um, in the middle of a post or a page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go over here to pages and then let's go over here. Let's do, um, let's go to the home page. I'm going to click on edit. Okay. So this again is going to be using the standard font that we chose, right? But over here on the right side, if you click on anywhere in here, it's going to pull up your options that you have on the right side, um, for that paragraph. And then right here is where we can click on advanced type typography. And then you can choose the font family that you want within side of here. Um, you can choose that font weight if you want it to be bolder. You can add letter spacing if you want to make each letter a little bit separated from the letter next to it. You can add that here. Um, you remember we talked about changing colors within a poster page. You can do that as well. So this font, let's say I don't want it white. I want it to be black. You can go in here and you can choose those colors that you had set on your site. Um, and you can choose change the font size right here. So that's important. A lot of people like to change the font size. So that's where you can change the font size. For let's say you just want this section on Hello You. So here's the site. So for this section right here under Hello You, you can change that font size here. And then if you scroll down, you can see this is where you can go in and you can change again. Just click on the fonts that you want to change and then you can change that on the right side. Now for the colors. So I showed you about how to change the font colors which would be right here. So you would click on the text that you want to change and then you can click on the color here. Um, so other colors you can change. So this background color that's here. Let me see. I'm going to go over here to Oh, give me one second. I think it went away. Okay, so for example, so I'm just going to click on this background here for Hello You. I'm going to click on Style. Right here where it says um, Background Color, that's where you can choose a different color. So let's say I want to go black, and that changes that background color to black. Um, but you can also do that with, let's say, your button. So if you click over here on the button, you can click on Style. That's where you can change the background color. You can see I changed it to a dark purple. Oop, let me go back. I'm going to put that back to the black color. So that's how you would change the colors um, for an individual page, not for the entire site. But again, for like I'm Candace, it's set to a lighter purple. You can change it to the dark purple or any color that you want to set. Right here is where you can change the color code if you have the color code for the color you want to use. Um, Pinterest is a good place to find color codes for colors that you like. 
Um, you can also Google um, color code finder um, and that'll help pull up other ways that you can find colors and the color codes for certain colors that you like. But that um, covers how to change the colors and the fonts of your site. Thanks.